the wood comes in. We're getting wood from North America. We're getting wood from all over the world. Um, our ash is from the Carolinas. Here in the States, uh, we get akume and African mahogany from Africa. Our rosewood is East Indian. Um, we use poplar for some models. Uh, black limba, just uh, a variation of a lot of different woods. So it comes in here and it's staged. We buy our wood pre-season, but we let it sit. So we've got a space for ash. We've got a space for maple, and it all kind of sits here until it's being ready to be used. Got a lot of alder right here waiting to be used. That's a common wood that we use for quite a few models. Over here and some wood for the necks as well. We use Honduras through neck models. Uh, this machine here does bodies. So we've been adding automation to our production over time. And this one here grabs the body blanks, places them on the CNC machine, and then the bodies are cut and drilled. You can see all the drill fittings there. So the arm grabs those and places those in the right spot to be drilled. Right now it's uh, doing a body. So after the body's cut, it'll grab it and bring it out here to do all the access holes for the electronics. This automation can run when, when the factory is closed. Then we have another Haas machine here cutting the CNC. This is a popular model, it's the Majesty. This is one here, you can see that uh, a lot of different pieces of wood. Starting with the back, you've got some mahogany going through there. You have a uh, basswood or alder wings, depending upon the model. It could also be black limba. And we've got some flame maple shielding that goes through here. The headstock is attached with a scarf joint. This one just hasn't been uh, sanded yet, but you can see that there. So it'll be placed on there and shaped, and then we'll put the ebony fretboard on it later. And we're using a single action truss rod on these. All of our instruments are single action truss rods with the truss wheel here at the top. And this robot cell here is for necks only. So it will grab the blank and it will cut the neck for the particular model that it's running at that time. And you can kind of see, it'll be set up to do some work, grabs the neck, places it on the jig, and then the CNC does its work. And this machine works also when the uh, factory is closed? Yes, it can. Very effective tool. Yeah. And the precision of this, yeah. you just can't get with humans. So, a lot of our network from after it leaves here is done by hand. So, we'll put all the frets in by hand, we will do all the shaping by hand, all of the level crowning and polishing will be done by hand. It's just the initial shapes of the bodies and necks that we cut on the CNC machines. But it's important that you have a cave for these, so that yes. they can see that some people coming in. Yeah, if something goes wrong too, you throw a piece of wood, or you, you never know. This one is currently carving some Stingray 5 necks. So it's just hard maple that is dried longer to give it that look. And it kind of replicates an aged wood, just kiln dried longer. So side dots. We swing the neck, we swing the radius in, the belt turns, and then we swing it there. Fret slots, these are older machines. Yep. Uh, we still do it the traditional way. Then we'll do the fret slots. And we have our different radii here. We 
is our fretting area. So we install all the frets here. Some that are ready to be installed. Here's an example. It's ready for the frets. Board, the final is done by hand as well. That paper that's uh, aged. I think the, the color and the stiffness, I think it's very nice. Thank you. Spreading station here. Time saver machines on our left. These are for the tops and various parts of the process to you know, take some. Uh, Material at the top, make it thinner. Precision. Over here, sand down the frets, get them level with the side. Hello. How you doing, buddy? Good. 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 Right. Station. Um, if we are setting up the necks um, so they have the proper amount of um, bow before they're sent over into sanding. So oftentimes we'll use this system. Vias and a very thin neck, through neck construction. station over here is where we book match the tops and um, glue them together. So we've got a few tops over here that are glued. Tops that are ready. We've got flame, quilt, burl, spalted. We use a lot of different woods. Got some buckeye burl over here. Various different types. This is the all the air out and vacuum back with our name. Next stop will be the uh, sanding department. After the bodies and necks are milled, they come in here and there's stages for various processes: sanding, shaping. We also fill in under the fret tang here. Yep. Any voids that are there are taken care of here. So all the neck operations, body operations, a lot of shaping. Maple Top Stingray 5. This station over here is where we apply the stain for the color. Good morning. So this is an Axis Super Sport model. Flamed maple top. Bridge blocks for tremolos. We're doing a lot of that work here in our small machine shop. Uh, various machines to do all that. Then take a look through here. Some tremolo blocks. And then they give them out to, to plating this. Yes. So some of the blocks are aluminum, some of them are brass. The plates are steel. It's surprising that you're making all by yourself. Yeah. Mostly they are coming from overseas. Yeah. We make a lot of it ourselves. In this area, we're checking things and before we put the silk screen or any of the logos that we need, uh, looking for anything that might not be up to our standards. And then they'll sp spray the headstocks and put the silk screens and logos on there.
This is a nice example of one of our roasted figured maple necks. Yeah. Really a cool. Beautiful wow. flame. Incredible. Yeah. And once they um, go over into setup, they'll they'll do the level crowning and polishing and put the oil and wax in the back. We also have our laser here. So we laser etch the writing on the control cavity covers for the Majesty, the JP-15, because you have access holes to adjust the mix on your piezo, the treble, the bass, and the boost. So we laser that in here. We also do um, some of our pit guards, have some patterns to them that are laser etched in there. They look really nice. So once it's done, it will have that laser etched in there. We also cut our um, Atlante inlay on this machine. We've got things in various stages of production. Um, we have our, we paint our color over here. Most all of our color is done in uh, booths three and four. We have some Kaizen bodies that have been painted and they're ready for the next stage of process. Once they're ready, they're staged here until they receive the work order for what color it's supposed to be. We work closely with our partner to come up with all of the colors that you see here, which are custom mixed for us. Hello, our friends uh, from Switzerland are here looking at everything. Yes. So a lot of these are painted and ready to move to buffing. Yeah, the first robot we had over there, we call it um, Big Bird. <laughs> okay. So we like to name the... Yeah. But I think he's not so uh, a diva like the original Picasso. No. <laughs> gunstock oil and gunstock wax. Okay. So she'll put a coat of the gunstock oil we let it soak in a bit, and then we wipe it off. And then the next step is the wax. And the wax kind of holds in the oil. So it creates a very natural feel that we're known for. Um, once you've played a neck like this, you will fall in love. Because yeah. you can really feel the wood under your hands. Uh, it takes a little more care to keep it nice and clean, yeah. and you know, keep it in the case, keep it away from the elements but it really feels nice. So they stay in here for, uh, I think, 48 hours. Once they're sprayed, this is the, the room where they're cured. Mario. Hi. How are you, brother? Good. Good, Good. we got our friends here from uh, Switzerland looking around. So this is our very first robot. And it's we call this robot Ursula. <laughs> My wife is <laughs> also uh, All right. Ursula. So this robot was designed in collaboration with our engineering team and Cal Poly. Okay. Uh, the Polytechnic University here in San Luis Obispo. So this is the longest running robot that we have in production. So Ursula will read the RFID chip that is inside the plastic piece and it will tell her what to do, what model it is, where to turn it. After Ursula does her thing, the points that she cannot get, we will do here by hand. And Ursula can run 24 7. This is so important. You can imagine having to buff everything by hand. They tape them off. The crowning is done with a crowning tool. You know, switch tip, knobs. In this prep station here, Stingray pickups are still and have always been made by Music Man, so we continued that. Okay. We wind all the pickups here. Uh, some of the guitar models we're winding here. Um, we still use DiMarzio for the Petrucci model, Silhouette, Silhouette Special. Um, the Albert Lee model still is the only one we use Seymour Duncan pickups on. Yeah. Yes. 
in a color we call Majora Purple. Nice. Yeah. Necks are staged here. It's placed on a cart with the paperwork and they grab it and do the final setup on it. So filing the nut slots, tuning, checking the electronics, um, intonation, string heights, all of the final setup. So basic neck operations over there. So bushings, tuners, keep the strings over there and the neck plates. Keeps a nice flow going. Production, we call it the Ball Family Reserve. So we will produce 100 of these units worldwide. This has a white figured maple neck with a purple burst finish. Purple Atlante inlays, stainless steel frets, Music Man pickups, five way switch, gold plated hardware. 18 volt circuit, uh, neodymium magnets, three band EQ, nice. volume trouble mid and bass. That's the 18 volt circuit. Chrome and the shallower tuners. Yeah. This model here is a multi scale. And what we've done with the fretboard, we call it an infinity radius. So. If you look at the fretboard from this side, you can see that it's thinner than this side. Yeah. So when you're playing the guitar, you have the position marker down and you can actually see it. Yeah. Because it's yeah. positioned yeah. like this. Yeah. 